So here we are in the color page, and we're about to take a look at another new feature, and this is still an edit page feature, but we're in the color page just so I can make a point. If you take a look in the timeline, you'll see that I've got this kaleidoscope of goofy grades. This is just to make it really easy to see what's going on. I have a timeline where I've got a lot of different versions available. Version 3 here, version 2 here, back to version 3, version 2, this clip's using version 5, another version 3 for a completely different range of media. One of the bugaboos in previous versions of DaVinci Resolve is that if you ever had to use the color trace feature to copy grades from one timeline to another, whether it was a timeline from a different project or a timeline from the same project, only version one used to ever get copied. Well, that has changed in DaVinci Resolve 10.1. Hooray, I'm so happy about this. And to prove it to you, I'm going to create a completely new project I'll say what I had over there. And I'm going to call this versions test. Actually, I've already got a versions test. Versions test two. Opening this project up, I'm going to go to the edit page, right click, choose import AF EDL XML. I'm going to choose this house scene XML file. I'm going to import it with the media, and as you can see right now, it has no grades on it. This is a fresh, fresh project, a fresh timeline. Now, if I want to copy all of those grades from the other timeline, this is something I've never been able to do before, I can choose Color Trace. Color Trace from Timeline. Again, right click this timeline and choose Color Trace. Color trace from timeline. And now I can go in and drill down into that original project, which I named source of versions, just to keep track of what's going on. And I can choose the timeline I want to copy from. Now, I originally exported the remote versions timeline, so I'm going to choose that remote versions timeline. I'm going to click continue, and now the color trace window appears. And all I have to do, because things are lined up so nicely, is in automatic mode, click copy grades and exit. Done. Now it doesn't look like anything's happened, but if I go into the color page, you'll see that miracle of miracles, here are all the correct grades. Now, here's the thing. When you copy versions from another timeline, Resolve's going to copy the correct version for each clip, but that version is going to become the new default version for that particular clip in the timeline you're copying to. So now you're going to get all the right grades, but those grades are going to be copied in as the new default version 1. Furthermore, they're going to be copied into whichever type of versions you happen to be using. So because this timeline was set up by default to use local versions, even though I was using remote versions in the previous project, those versions are copied into local versions of this project. Now, if I had this timeline set up to use remote versions instead, all of these grades would have been copied into the remote versions. So it's really your choice. In fact, I'll do that right now. I'll choose use remote grades instead. And now I'll go back to the edit page, right click, choose color trace again, open this up, go in the source of versions, choose that remote versions timeline, click continue. Here's that window, copy grades and exit. And now here are all of my versions again, except now you can see that they're copied into a set of remote grades. So this is a fantastic feature. So there you have it, version support in Color Trace.